this time a dish with D. That's me. It's time for a meal prep video. Hey D, you said you don't meal prep. I don't, but I do meal prep things. I don't meal prep meals, but I do meal prep things. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to meal prep this week. And uh, to give you some idea, this is like I said, I'm not a traditional, like I said, I don't meal prep, but I do prep for certain things because there's certain things that you need during the week that you need to have ready. And this is how I do it. This is Sunday. I thought I would show you today a few things. We're going to be making hard boiled eggs, which duh, we don't have to meal prep those. We're going to do some bagels because I'm out of bagels. And we're going to do some lavash crackers because I'm having some hummus this week. So I need to have some crackers ready to go. So I think that might be it. Who knows what else I might think of while I'm, as I'm prepping because you know how mom, you know how these mine works. It's kind of, you know, scattered, but you know, eh, you keep me around anyway. So let's get started. We're going to get started with, hmm, probably the eggs. I do the five, five, five method. It's uh, Joan, Joan's point of plate told me about that one. You do five minutes high pressure, five minutes um, natural pressure release, and five minutes in the ice bath. And then you put them in the fridge and you have eggs for the week. Always good to have around for a quick breakfast, a snack, to add to your lunch, to add to your salad. I love having, I usually do about eight to 10 to have them during the week. Like I said, sometimes it's a great high protein snack and it's filling. So I will definitely, um, have those ready. I don't know if I'm going to do any chicken. No, I actually do. I have some um, of these. I'll show you the, my, the chicken that I have on hand that I'm going to use this week because I don't have to prep any chicken. As I think as I'm on. I think I should have had this all thought out before I went on the video. Mm. All right. Well, let's get started on those eggs and we will get right to the, I was thinking about doing like mini bagels, make a little bit maybe stuffed. I don't know. You know, I'm a work in progress. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but you're gonna be you're gonna be witness to whatever I'm doing. So lucky you. Let's get started. Okay, eggs are in the instant pot. We're gonna put it on pressure. It's already on high, so we're just gonna put it to five minutes. My valve is sealed. I'm ready to go. Okie dokie. I am undecided about the bagels because you know what I came up with as I'm standing here? Grace's oat bread. I'm like, ooh, Grace's oat bread. So that's what I decided to make instead of the bagel. I may still make the bagels, who knows? You know, D, oven's on, what the heck? So we're gonna do the Grace's oat bread, but not just any Grace's oat bread. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna put some, I don't know where I put them, sun-dried tomatoes and some rosemary and some garlic in these on this bread, because I just, some, Looking for something a little bit different. So let's get started making Grace's oat bread. I've already made this on the channel before. So we're gonna go over this really quickly. Let me bring it down. Okay, we have our three and three quarter cups of rolled old fashioned oats. Can you use quick oats? I don't know. This is what I've used and they worked beautiful last time. So I'm just gonna use these again. And remember, if you're on the purple plan, this bread is zero points. So let me tell you, it's really good. So I decided to make some oat bread. Okay, to this base, I'm going to add the standard things that we need. Baking soda. Do you remember last time I used baking powder by mistake? Yeah, not this time. V has rectified her mistake. So two teaspoons of baking soda. Oh, yes, get it right, D. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to use the same teaspoon, just use half of that. And don't ever forget, um... Salt is such a necessity in homemade bread. People think, oh, I'm not gonna, no, you need to use it. Some garlic powder, I'm gonna put about, probably a tablespoon, because I want it to be flavorful. Oh, it's not gonna fit in there, so I'll just put it in. Now, fresh garlic might even be better than this. But it's a little, because I want it to be a savory bread, so I definitely wanna have some savory flavor in it. And some rosemary. You know D, she loves her rosemary. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon. And what I like to do with any dried herb is crush them. It, like they say, it releases the oil. So yeah, smells good in here already. All right, move this over out of the way. And let's do some sun-dried, now these have points, sun-dried tomatoes, but I am not gonna put a whole serving in but if you know like i said if you 
A cup would be a would be point. Oh, I'm sure I like this now. We'll just have to make do because I don't like going and stopping and getting the other knife. Uh, maybe this one will work better. Oh, I'll grab my serrated knife. It's over here. I just cleaned it. This will make easier work of these. Like I said, if I'm not going to count these in the bread, you know, you absolutely can. They do have points. I'm not going to lie. But I do not feel the need to count them. That's just a personal preference with certain things. Like, yeah, it's it's concentrated. It has, it's like dried fruit. It has sugar because it's concentrated and dried. But really, in my world, it's still a tomato. So I'm really not that picky when it comes to stuff like this. But I always say you do what you feel comfortable and what you feel is your best. Just gonna sprinkle these in there. This is probably two tablespoons, give or take, of sun dried tomatoes. Just give it a toss. Get that baking powder or baking soda. You keep on your powder. And the salt, the garlic, and the rosemary just all tossed around. Okay. You know, I'm just going to add some olives, but I'm, I think I'm going to opt out of that today. So it's two cups of non-fat Greek yogurt. Now, I happen to love the brand at Sam's Club. I think it's up there with Faye. I certainly, and it's less, way less money. I mean, look how beautiful that is. That's and I haven't even had to, I do drain off the top as I always do. All right, that's one cup. Now you could do this in a hand mixer, use your, or I should say use your handheld whisk or your, or your stand mixer. It is a little bit of a challenge to mix it. It's, just, it's a very dense dough. So in there she goes. Two cups of yogurt. And also, just so you don't, just so you know, Nutstop.com has sun-dried tomatoes at a really good and reasonable price. Also, if you use my code in the description box below, I can get you 10% 10 10 off your Nutstop.com order. It is a great little website. I really enjoy it, and I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't. All right. And heck, you can save 10% on top of the great prices. I'm just going to put that beaten egg in there. Get it all, because, you know, it's only one egg. You want it all to count. All right, this is when your workout begins. My oven is preheated to 365. Don't ask me why 365. That's what the recipe says. I did find that to be interesting. And like I said, when I made this last time, it looks like vomit. And I will stand by that. But it is an amazing bread. And if you get 16 slices, it comes up to two smart points on blue and green. Now, green would be more, actually, because they have to count the yogurt. Sorry. I'm not up on my green plan points. Apologize for that. Purple would be zero points. Blue, it would be, depending. Like I said, if you get thinner, thinner slices, but I think the 16 gives you a nice slice. I wouldn't try to get it thinner than that, to be honest. And you can be a rebel and say, hey, you know what? If it's not, if it's zero on purple, I'm not gonna count it either. Well, you could do that, I mean. But I think goats are a great source of protein, a great source of fiber. Definitely should be incorporated in any of the plans that you're on. Oats are a good, good, heart healthy food. I've made notes, even when I had to count. Well, I always have to count them, obviously, but. I've, they've always been part of my plan from any plan I've ever been on. Points Plus, Smart Points, Freestyle, My WW. It's always, yeah, I'm feeling it in the arms. Can you tell? Let's make sure everything is wet with yogurt. There's no dry pockets of oats because, yeah, sometimes that happens. I'd like to thank Miss Kathy.
Kathy McLean for the inspiration. She made this and I thought, oh, I gotta make sun-dried tomato. Amy, I can call this Amy. Grace's oat bread. So McLean, thank you for inspiring this meal prep today. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay, so you have to make sure it's all, there's no pockets of dry oats because, you know, sometimes if you not mix it correctly, you get that little pocket of dry. You can actually even, if you wanted to mix this with your hands, that would probably work as well. But yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty, yeah, pretty happy with the way that is. So let's loaf pan. You know how many things I've dropped today? You've got no clue. Oh my God, I got my Instant Pot lid. Yeah, I almost thought that was gonna be a warner. All right, spray with nonstick spray. And we gotta dump her in. Thing says push into a pan, so. It's just like, you see, it looks like vomit. It looks like plaster of Paris. Ugh. But it is delicious. And I think it's even gonna be better with the rosemary, the garlic, and the sun-dried tomatoes. I can't wait to have this. Heck, I would have this for breakfast. I would have it for lunch. Oops. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's, this, is, this is what you call, no, I don't want that there. All right, scrape it all. And use the back of your spatula, back of your measuring cup, whatever you have. You can just push it down. Make sure it's even, that it's flush, so it has an even bake. It just will bake. I think it bakes for 40 minutes. I will let you know. I don't remember that part. Let's have it nice. And push it down. There's air pockets out of there. Now I'm actually going to throw a little extra garlic and rosemary on top because that's not going to cause me no points. So, yeah. Or I could do the... Flavor God's garlic lovers, but we're just gonna, since I have this one, I'm gonna throw this on top. Garlic and a little rosemary. This way you'll remember that it's rosemary. We'll just do a little. Just a little crushing on top. Look at that. All right. We're gonna put her in the oven to bake. I will let you know how long she baked. She is stunning. Smells insane. Can't wait. So what are we prepping now, Dee? We're going to prep some of my favorite things in the whole entire world, lavash crackers. I love these. I am probably the best thing in the world is Joseph's lavash flatbread made into crackers. It's the flax, oat bran, and whole wheat lavish. Some people say lavish. I say lavash. I don't know. However you say it, these are fantastic. I did a video on these back when I first had my channel. It's a bit of a funny video, but I thought I would just go over how I do it. Really, we're gonna make two different kinds. We're gonna make a savory and a sweet lavash. So, let's bring it in. So the easiest way for me to do that with my spices here is to use a pizza cutter. I just find this is the easiest. So what I do is I'll cut it in half. So I know it weighs half, and I'll just go up again. They're not going to be perfect. They're not. And they don't have to be. These are yours. And I'll just kind of judge. And I'll go up this way again. Like so. So now you have four stacks of lavish um, strips. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Now you can make them triangular. You can make them any shape you want. These are your crackers. But I just do the old square. That's all. And again, big or as little as you like. So you have stacks. So that was, I made quick work of that lavish bread. Now let's, sh I'll show you how I put them on the pan. Since my oven is already on for my Grace's oat bread, I'm gonna use it at the lower temperature so it might affect the time. I have my pan that I lined with the foil and I will spray it. Oh, I had this finger, it is, jeez. Liberally with non-stick spray. Okay. Is really simple and then I just place my little squares of lavish lavash whatever you want to say on the pan and you just 
put them on there. Yes, I do flip these during the baking time. Now you could, I usually use my oven on the convection setting. You could use your air fryer, whatever floats your boat. There we go. Spread them out, give them enough room. So then I then again, spray the tops. And then you put any spices you choose. I think I'll put, um, let's put some garlic lovers from Flavor God. Now again, you could put anything you want. These are yours. I've put rosemary, everything but the bagel. We'll do a little garlic and we'll do a little cheese. I love this one too. We're having some hummus, so I don't, it doesn't really matter what I do with this. The cheese and what else did I bring over? Ah, oh, some everything. Again, what do you like? Like I said, you could have fun with these. These are just oh, you know. And we're gonna turn them and spray them and resprinkle again. Okay. I'm gonna put them in now. Again, the temp the oven is lower than normal for me, so normally it would be like four or five minutes, and I'd flip them. But this might take a little bit longer because, like I said, I'm making the graces oat bread. So you don't want to go by my time. I will definitely, if you go on my website, the recipe is on there. This is in my recipe blog for the time and temperature and stuff. Like I said, these, one important thing, never leave your kitchen because these will burn in a hot minute. So yeah, you have to definitely baby them because once they go, you know, burn, you can't bring it back. And not that I don't love a good dark lavage, but sometimes you just want them done. All right, they were in for about four and a half minutes. You can see how light and golden they are. So what I do very carefully is I flip them. See how beautifully brown some of them are on the back? Oh, they smell. These are just the best things. I am in love with these crackers. I'm sorry, they're just... People say, well, what's your favorite cracker? These. Hands down, I would have these over any store-bought cracker ever. And during the pandemic, I couldn't find these breads anywhere. I usually get them at BJ's or Walmart. My act, my shopper doesn't have them. Didn't have them. I was desperate. I went online and found them on their Joseph's Bakery website. So, yep, <laughs> had them delivered. Spray it again. I'm just gonna throw a little, uh, we'll do garlic lovers again. Like I said, you choose the spices you want on your crackers. It doesn't really, these are, they're good no matter what you put on them. Uh, throw, where's my everything? I always put this back. Cheese. And the spray helps the seasonings to stick. So that's always good. Now these will not need four minutes. Or what did I say, five? These will not need five. These will probably go in for maybe a minute and a half because they're pretty much almost done. There you go, another two minutes. They are perfection. Oh, hot. Look at that. Yep. They smell insane. They taste insane. You need to make lavash crackers. You just do. And they make good flatbread as well, but <clears throat> I love the cracker. This whole tray is two small points. I have three, six, nine, 12, 15. I have 21. You can make them smaller, of course, and get, you know, but. That's a nice, that is the size of a tortilla chip. You're not gonna get tw 20 tortilla chips for two points anywhere. Not in my world. So yep, yeah, I'm gonna have these cool and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make for my breakfast tomorrow. So I will make my breakfast for tomorrow because it's overnight oats. So as I'm still prepping, I will get this together. Right in this glass mason jar, I have a quarter cup of quick oats and a quarter cup of rolled oats. I like to mix them, different textures. And I like a half a cup of overnight oats. That's the most satiating for me. And on my plan, it's four points. On purple, that would be zero. So to that, I would add a few different things. Cinnamon. Of course, did I bring my teaspoon? Probably didn't. All right, let's grab about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, maybe a quarter. Remember, it's only one serving. We don't need that much cinnamon. Do a quarter teaspoon. Dash of salt, because your oats need salt, they do. Okay, not that much, but they needed salt. Okay. 
glug of vanilla, one teaspoon. Really should measure vanilla. Vanilla has points, especially the pure. Teaspoon of vanilla. And I like to use protein mix in mine. This is the um, Fairlife Vanilla. Half of this is one point. So I will just pour half in here. Some Swerve brown sugar replacement. Majority's still out on the Swerve for me. I'm So far I do like it, but I haven't had it in enough things to give my full seal of approval. So we'll do a tablespoon of the Swerve. Should get those oats at the bottom because sometimes they don't get mixed. Now this is how you, you know, this is perfectly good this way, but I ate my protein and my satiating this <laughs> non-fat Greek yogurt. So, um, I don't normally measure it because I'm on the blue plan. So I'm just going to scoop a bit in there. Like I said, it's, I don't have to count this, but if you're on green, you would have to know how much you're eating. It looks like probably a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup. If I had a guess to me, look, look at this, how whipped, I'm telling you, this Sam's Club has the best non-fat Greek yogurt, best price, and they mix this all up. Now tomorrow, when I get up, I will give her a shake. I will add some pumpkin seeds, some hemp, crushed hemp, a teaspoon of each is zero points, so I will put a teaspoon of that. Sometimes I put a few Lily's chips for zero points because you can have 13 of the brown bag for zero points. And sometimes I put in, I went blank. Totally went blank, what I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna tab it with some Flavor God buttery cinnamon roll or gingerbread, depending on my mood tomorrow, or pumpkin. Well, if I'm gonna do pumpkin, I'm gonna put pure pumpkin, but I'm not doing pumpkin yet. Almost pumpkin season. So there you go. Put my lid on. My breakfast. Look at the size of this for five points. That is a lot. And you know what the amount of protein I have in here between the yogurt and the pre and the uh, pre oh, no not premium the Fairlife vanilla. Yeah, it's gonna definitely keep me full for quite a while. Remember, protein keeps you fuller and helps you lose weight. It's scientific fact. Now my breakfast is Medi. B B Medi. It's Medi! I'm going to go put this in the refrigerator and we're going to come back and we're going to taste those Avash chips. Okay, here we are. Aren't they beautiful? Listen. They're so good plain. But imagine it in hummus or onion dip or any kind of dip. And you can make your own onion dip using non fat Greek yogurt and onion soup mix be awesome make these all right ready for another batch of lavash lavash crackers these are gonna be a little bit different you still spray liberally then we're going to go a little bit crazy and i'm going to put some monk fruit on them these are going to be a sweet Cracker. Now be careful because sometimes this stuff does burn in the oven. You give it a little, and you can be liberal. This has zero points, no matter how much you use. So you can feel free to be a little bit liberal with this. Here's some cinnamon. Plain old cinnamon. You could use, like I said, the Flavor God pumpkin. Buttery cinnamon roll, chocolate donut, but I'm just going old school cinnamon and sugar. And sometimes I like to throw a little bit of salt on top of my savory thing, my sweet things, just to give it a little pop of something, something, you know? Not a lot, just a little shake. All right, keep your eye on these, these might burn. All right, see, these will burn. <laughs> so we flipped them again. They smell really good though, I have to say that. These are almost like, kind of like a cookie. 
These will not need hardly any more time in there. We're just gonna flip them and re-sprinkle the same way. Put them in, and I don't even think I'll even be in for a full minute. And we'll take them out and I'll show you. All right, like I said, they leave it a less than a minute in the oven. They are done. Let's have a taste because these smell stinking amazing. And like I said, they will burn quicker because of this of the monk fruit on there. Like I said, I think it's like a cookie. Awesome. Whole tray, two points. Okay, just took my oat bread out of the oven. It baked for 45 minutes. Look at that. This bread smells insane. That ro If you've never baked with rosemary in a bread, you are certainly missing out. I need to see if this is done. I'm just gonna stick a knife in the center. I'm sure this looks done. Yep, totally clean. So I'm gonna let this cool in the pan for a few minutes. I'm gonna flip it out. I'm gonna show you the beautifulness of this bread. If you've never made Grace is oat bread, you seriously need to. If you're on Purple Planet, you're not making this bread, we need to talk. <laughs> it's just so good. I can't wait to have this tomorrow. Oh, about having it tomorrow, I have memory overnight oats. Well, maybe I'll have a piece for lunch. Insane. All right, let's, let's show this beauty, shall we? My goodness. My goodness gracious, look at this this steam it's insane it's <laughs> you need to make this bread if nothing else from this video you need to make grace's oat bread amazing <gasps> oh i'm gonna flip it over there we go and we're gonna let her cool completely so here we go we have some hard boiled eggs we have our breakfast we have sweet and savory lavash chips we have grace's oat bread prepped for the week that is how I prep. Like I said, it's nothing specific. It's just generalization. I have enough eggs ready to, to have, last me all week. I have my overnight oats for tomorrow already done and prepped. My bread for the week is prepped. My snacks, my chips are prepped. I could have the sweet ones with the hum homemade hummus. I could have the, the savory ones with um, regular hummus or salsa. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just easy to prep a few low point snacks for you for your, to have for during the week. That's how I meal prep. Yeah, I'm not making like large batches of food or anything because truth be told, I have time to cook. I have time to make breakfast usually. And I don't really like things. I'm, I don't mind leftovers, but unless they're, if they're leftovers, not if they're fresh food. So that's why I just meal prep stuff like this. So if you enjoy this video and enjoy this kind of a meal prep, let me know. Maybe I'll do this again. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Let me know what you meal prep. I'd love to hear about it. We will dish another day. Ta-ta.